correct. We are in the jungle, the urban jungle, let's say that. And we've got Justin Rohner. He is my green thumb boyfriend. And you know on Thursdays, this is what we do. We try to get you in the nose. So your garden can be a little bit greener and pop. Mm. This time of year, though, you have to look out for a little insects, little pests, little things that try to take over your garden. Oh, there's little ones and there's big ones. Yes. I mean, there's nothing more frustrating than waiting <laughs> all this time for something awesome coming out of your garden and then it's covered in something that you don't want to be eating. flourish and grow and be yep. beautiful, but then you have these little things trying to devour it because they love it too. They love it too. Mm -hmm. If you've done a good job, they're probably going after your stuff too. Yeah, right? they're like, what are you doing? We love you. You're flourishing. That's so right. today we're going to talk about a few things. Plant positive approach. We're That's gonna right. talk about the bigger problems. There's even bigger ones and then the critters. We gotta get those critters under control. That's right. So number one, you want a plant positive approach to pest prevention. Okay. And that's just a lot of peas, but that that's is. okay. The pee, it's pee, perfect. Pee the pots and poo. That's right. <laughs> so the kind of stuff you like to do, we love to do a lot of foliar feeding this time of year as it right. heats up the, the likelihood that your leaves are going to start thinning out, curling up. It's pretty high. Yeah. And when that happens, the aphids are the number one thing. They'll come after your plants, especially your nice greens. They're going to come they after love those it, things. Yeah. So we like to use uh, fish emulsions, other compost teas that you can then blend up, put in a hose end sprayer like this one. We usually do it at one ounce per gallon. We don't want to go any higher than a one ounce per gallon kind of scenario because mm -hmm. we don't want too much chemical, too much oh, of that, that nutrient yeah. on the leaf. It's got to be able to soak in. Do it at night. So do it e in the evening oh, time okay. so it doesn't cake on to the end of the plant. We want it to go right into the leaves and protect oh. the cellular structure from the plant, the bugs that are going after it and stuff like that. Such so that's a number good one. tip. And it's not going to affect the vegetation at all. It's just the no. plant. No, okay. it actually, it feeds the vegetation. It feeds okay. the greenery. It feeds all that stuff to keep them supported. Now, number two, yeah. if you have a problem already, one of my favorite things that we do is we actually use this neem oil. Neem oil. Neem oil. And it's a natural product. comes from a tree. It's a beautiful tree. It grows in India very well. We have a number of clients here that have come from India. They love us planting this tree actually in nice. their garden so they can have it. Awesome tree, but it makes this wonderful oil. One ounce per gallon on that too, but we'll put it in a in a pump sprayer like this one. And okay. we actually spray the leaves at night. And that actually works out really, really well to kill off actually a lot of things, especially aphids. If you've got okay. trees with aphids in them, the neem oil, really good, but it's gonna be a reapplication process of about every 14 days. Okay, that's good to know. And it's good enough for you that you can actually eat it. It's a good organic product. Everything that I'm sharing with you today is all organic kind of stuff or better than organic. Yeah, this is what I tell people. This is why you need to watch the show because Justin will get you in the know. It's agriscaping.com. He right. has workshops that you can come and participate in. You can come and take a look at his garden, the things he's done, and he'll educate you so you can flourish with your plants. And not everybody has a green thumb, but it can get a little bit greener if you just listen to Justin. That's right. Yeah. And so another thing that we like to do, Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew. So this actually has spinosad in it. It's a spinosad. spinosad. Look at these it's big organic, words we're learning today. Spinosad. It's an organic derivative from rum barrels. Okay. And so it's kind of a fun little thing. It's a rum kind of extract. Yeah. And so you wouldn't want to drink it, but it's not going to kill you if you did. So it's another good product. But this stuff is best against the bigger type bugs, the oh, squash bugs, ugly, yeah. ugly uh -huh. squash bugs and stuff like that. Now, if your problem is so big that you can see the bugs literally crawling all over the plants, Ooh. you want to go to this big guy. Look and at I'm this serious. contraption right yeah. here. This is industrial. If you have to bring this out, something is wrong. Something <laughs> is wrong, but this is a quick way to get rid of the problem fast. You know, it's like you, oh you get a goodness. shop back, you literally can suck the suck the bugs right off oh, of your plants. Oh, how cruel, Don't but I like mean, a, you got to get rid of them. them <laughs> yeah, you got to get rid of them somehow. And it's better than trying to spray them or pick them all off. Just use yeah. a vacuum. You can suck them right off. And also the little hand vacs can work as well, but this right. is obviously the high-powered machine that you can get out there and just suck them all, all right off your plant. Oh, my goodness. They're just trying to do their part, you know, that's what they're here for, to live off yep. of different things. And they have a purpose. They can be recycled. You, know, you don't want to have them. put back in your compost, yeah, right? Yeah, you put them in the compost. You don't want them on your vegetation. Good stuff. I love it. So tell me a little bit about this plant right here, because I don't think I've ever seen this one. So this, this is, is a calmondin. This is a variegated calmondin, beautiful plant. And mm -hmm. we like to have these guys around, along with these others, as deterrents. So that's okay. your your final thing is to always have deterrents, keeping the rabbits out. So things that, uh, that put off a nice citrusy smell, those kind of things actually are good deterrents, as well as these are um, some society garlic. We got a variegated variety. We got oh. other deterrents to keep other animals away. There's another product out there to keep the gophers out called Critter Max. So from these Easy are for Flow. larger animals that hop yes. around that cr Okay. So to keep those guys out of there, you got to be deterring them. You got to get them uh -huh. to go someplace else, maybe even feed them someplace yeah. other than your other plants. Like the birds, if they're attacking your plants, mm -hmm. you know, give them some nice seed. They can eat the seed, right. give them something easy, and then they'll hopefully get they'll a, keep away, away from, your, from plants. your plants. Because you That's want right. it to flourish. All the information is at agriscaping.com. Don't forget, you can get your kale yeah shirt. Go on yeah. out, see Justin, take a tour, learn this stuff hands on. On, get dirty and just prosper and make your garden flourish. That's and right. then you can also go to our website, aztv.com. All right.